Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, what we'll be going over is the uh, upgrade for a R77.30 cluster. Um, this is the virtual topology that I have created right now. So we have a high availability cluster set up right here in the center with R77.30 with the primary here on top and the standby on the bottom. This goes out to the internet through this switch. Um, and then we do have on the other side, another switch that would be considered like your, your data plane. Uh, so we do have a Windows 10 host uh, as well as the R80.30 management. And so since we're already on R80.30, this is a fairly straightforward process, um, luckily. And let's go ahead and run through it really quickly. So we have the Windows 10 host that's behind the gateways right now. We have a uh, default gateway set to the uh, virtual IP of the cluster, which is 10.0.0.3. And just to confirm, let's make sure. Yeah, so we do have the default gateway set to the cluster IP. And since we're not really touching the management for this, we don't have to do like a migrate export or anything. And again, this is a, a pretty straightforward process. Um, which, is, which is good for us. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to check to make sure that the primary is actually really the active uh, member right now. So to do that, let's go ahead and SSH into one of the gateways. It doesn't really matter which one, but uh, let's go ahead and connect and we can do a CPHA prob space state. Okay, so we can see the local is the one that you're running the command on. So 10.1, which is the primary right now is actually in the standby state. Um, and so, you know, we can actually just upgrade the secondary, but for um, demonstration purposes, we'll kind of, let's just fail over to the uh, primary 10.1 and kind of do it like how the instructions in, in the checkpoint documentation has it. So. Really to do that, we can actually just open up another putty and SSH into the um, standby and we'll just do a CP stop. Okay, and then we can actually just go ahead and run this again. We can say, we can see here now that uh, this is the active one and uh, we can do a CP start on here again. Actually, what we could have done is just a CP restart. Um, but it's okay, either way, it's fine. Okay. All right, started successfully. We come back over here. Yeah, so we do have the active and the standby. Um, and perfect. So at this point, what we can do is we can actually just go ahead and uh, start the upgrade on the standby. So if we go to 10.0.0.2, go to CPU SE, and I already downloaded successfully. This is the file that we'll be using. Um, you might need to obtain your configuration lock. So if you don't already have this imported, you can uh, just click the download button, or you can actually download it from the Checkpoint website manually and use the import package button up here on the top right. Um, and then what you'd wanna do is, just to be safe, is run the uh, pre-upgrade verifier. Okay, installation is allowed, upgrade is allowed. And also before we do this, we would want to go in um, where is it? Yeah, it's to uh, snapshot management. You want to make sure, of course, to create a snapshot for the lab purposes, uh, just to kind of show the process. I won't necessarily run through this, but I did look at um, the documentation. And of course, you want to make sure to have this to revert. Okay, so let's go back here. And at this point, you can pretty much start up, start the upgrade. So let's go ahead and do this right now. Okay. 
All right, so R80.30 in place upgrade is completed and it's automatically uh, refreshed the page after the reboot. Okay, everything looks good. System uptime is only one minute, so just to make sure there's no pending upgrade in the background, we can go to status and actions and go to all. And to say here is fully installed. That's good. Okay, we do have a notification installed, self test passed as well. And we get the uh, complete notification. Let's, let's let it check for new available packages. It's probably going to have to install the new deployment agent, I would assume. All right. We can apply the latest Jumbo Hotfix, which at the time of this video is Jumbo Hotfix Take 196. Just do an install. Shouldn't take too long to download. It's only 600 megabytes. If you want to prepare beforehand as well, you can always um, download this and uh, just import it manually. I just want to show you while it's rebooting, the internet still works, of course, because we're going through the active the primary firewall. So this is really a zero downtime upgrade, as they kind of call it. All right, successfully rebooted. Let's log in, make sure. Okay, so it's enough time less than one minute, so let's pop back in here. Let's go to all, and it says Jumbo Hotfix installed, self-test passed. So everything is perfect. It's good to go. All right. Those are just the putties timing out. So at this point, what we can do is we'll pop in here. And just double check SIC. Okay, trust is established. Text test SIC status communicating. Perfect. We'll come into this cluster here and we'll change this to our 80.30. Okay. All right, and now we can actually just go ahead and push policy. What we're going to want to do is to uncheck uh, this option right here because it's going to fail since only one of the gateways is on RE.30. So to prevent that, we uncheck this, we do install. It's fine. Ten dot one should fail. That's fine. 10.2 succeeded, perfect. So what we want to do now is actually, let's go ahead and check on our gateways at this point. CPHA prob space state. Okay, the 10.1 is still active, so it's currently going through 10.1. Let's pull up 10.2 uh, as well, just to double check. CPHA prob space state. State is ready. It's ready to go. All right, and we just got actually a check mark on 10.1, which is good. Cluster XL inactive, our machine is down. Okay, well, that should be fine. Let's go ahead and do a CP stop on this. At this point, uh, the standby should pick it up. Let's go ahead and run this. There we go. And we can see here that the state changed to active. Let's uh, confirm that data is still traversing. Let's go 
go here, Netflix. Yep, make sure that it's not cached or anything. CNN.com. Perfect. Internet is still working. And at this point, we're pretty much good to go. So we can just do the same thing that we did to um, to our standby gateway. We'll do it to 10.0.0.1. Um, you don't need to do a CP start or anything. You can still upgrade it when it's stopped. So let's close out of these putties. And let's move on over to 10.0.0.1. Okay, same thing, I already imported the file here. Let's go ahead and get our admin lock. And uh, we already did the pre-upgrade verifier, and it's part of a cluster, so it, it should work as, as well. Let's just, for the demo, we'll go straight into the upgrade. Um, of course, you wanna make sure that you do have a snapshot for this one as well, okay? And then we'll do the upgrade. Okay, successfully rebooted on the primary. It's going to log in. We'll do the same thing. Double check. Okay, so it's actually still wrapping some stuff up here. Okay, in a couple of seconds, we'll get the notification in the bottom left. And then I'll start checking for updates. I'll just click on the button. All right, we got the notification. Now it's checking for new packages. All right, let's go ahead and apply the jumbo. All right, it's complete, successfully completed the reboot. System uptime, less than one minute. So let's go in here and installed self-test pass, perfect. So we're good. Let's just give it another minute or so, just because it's, let's give it a second just to settle, settle in. System uptime, let's wait like until like two minutes. All right, so let's go ahead and push policy. And we can actually go ahead and put the check mark back on this. And there we go, installation succeeded. Let's go ahead and Check on our gateways. CPHH prop space state again. We can see here that the local is on standby, so the secondary machine is still the active. Okay, yep, so this one's active. So what we can do is actually um, just do a CP restart. Oh, okay, CP restart is not supported in cluster XL. Okay, so let's do CP stop. Oops. Okay. Rerun this command here. And yeah. We can see that the primary is now active, secondary is lost right now. We'll give it a second to complete the CP stop and then we'll just do a CP start. Okay, CP start. And let's make sure the internet's working right now. Oh well, it, it should be working because this is active anyway. And there we go, we are done. Primary is active and standby is standby. Excellent. Let's go ahead and open up the web browser. Netflix. Okay. Yahoo. Yep. Perfect. So that's all there is to it. Thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. All right. Take care.